look at him. He's just like, I'm not fond of camping. I don't get it. I don't know why you've brought me here. And I'm glitching. That's how much I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Welcome back to a new episode of Sims 4 in the City. Just before we start recording, I wanted to show you guys my hoodie because it has bunny ears. <laughs> it's like super cold here at the moment, so I needed to put a hoodie on. So I thought I'd put my little bunny hoodie on and show you guys. It has to come off now though, because I've got to put my headphones on. Also because it's cold, but not cold enough to sit with a rabbit hat on for a whole recording. So we've been in the dream house a lot recently for obvious reasons that I won't talk about. And today I looked back to see which is the last series that we'd had that we basically played the longest time ago. And it was in San Maishuno Ruru. And it was, of course, in the city with all of these cute little pukaroonies. So I figured that they were the ones that we had to return to. However, Frankie the guy is the only one that's home. Where are, oh my gosh, all these guys are actually at the dream house. So let's go ahead and join little Jessikins and let's bring everybody back to the city because it's a bit of a tough time and Jessie out of everyone is going to be really struggling at the moment. Joxy is kind of in trouble, so we need some way for the family to come back together again and save Joxy, basically. So that's what today is going to be about. If you guys are excited, give this video a little cheeky thumbs up. Let me know what you'll see in this series in the comments below. I'm still definitely having that alien idea under consideration. Items have been removed, 245, because... I actually removed the Christmas folder. Uh, we actually can't see into the dream house, I don't think. Where is Jessie? I think she might be actually outside. Jessie, babe, where are you? Where? You're, in you're inside, but I can't see into the house. What is even going on? You are inside. I'm outside. You've left me out in the cold, basically. Where are you, Jess? Ryder? Roxy? They're all inside, and I'm not allowed to- I'm not allowed to join in the fun. I can see Taylor. I can literally see him through the window. Look, can you see him in there? I can see Max. I can see Taylor, but... Oh, oh, look at this. This is one way to sneak around it. I think Max has been for a cry in the closet. Taylor's looking pretty sad about life as well. What else have we got going on around here? Oh, these guys are in here. Jessie. I didn't change her hair for all outfits. I only changed it for her funeral outfit. So that is one of the things I'm going to have to change. But Jessie is not looking particularly well. She's looking pretty down. I feel like this one, if I play time, will they all suddenly be really sad? Oh, it won't. Oh, look, look, oh no, Jessie is sad. <laughs> Jessie is definitely. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at her. She's like in her parents' room. She just closed the door. And she's like crying to herself in secret. She also looks what I can only describe as dangerously thin right now. And this is Clara and Ali's room. <gasps> so sad. Let's go through the floor and see if we can see the rest of the family. This is the only way I can only view the family if I go into this mode and have a look around. I can see a Connor. I can see a Jay, who you guys are suddenly definitely not fans of. Connor and Lilla for hanging out together. Both of them looking like very cool kids, to be honest. We've got little Ryderu there, but where is my, um, Roxy and where is my, sorry, not Ryderu, Abel. Salma's like, I'm not sad, I'm just dancing. Where is Ryderu and where is Roxy? Because I need to get those guys out of here. Look, as soon as I exit that mode, it goes back to this. Okay, let's get everybody back home. Jessie is literally so sad. She's desperate to be focused. She's got four focus emojis, but she is just super sad. She witnessed the death though, so she's obviously gonna be more sad. Like, Ro jo Roxy just doesn't get it. She's really not that sad. And Ryder doesn't get it either, but Jesse is in like a super deep depression. I think the fact that only Jesse is feeling it could spell more bad news for Joxy, to be honest. I'll just sit here and sip my peach juice and see what happens. Okay, items have been removed from here as well. 43 items, which should clear up all of the Christmas stuff. Guys, that is the easiest way. Oh, he wants to be a ninja. You guys all want to be ninjas. I don't get it. I don't get it. That is the easiest way, guys, to clear up for Christmas. Just delete all of your Christmas CC and it will all disappear. The, obviously, the one thing that hasn't disappeared is these lights, which are not only uh, really annoying to try and grab, but we put them everywhere. We literally put them everywhere, so... Fun for me now, you guys. Taking down the Christmas decorations. I can't even grab them. This is hell. Oh, wait, I can use this little tool instead. Ka-chow, ka-chow. No. 
I'm having to like go in between the curtain and the blind <laughs> to like get these the curtain and the blind the window and the blind to get to these lights it's not easy you guys oh look at that we got it never again the next time I decide I want to put fairy lights up everywhere I need you to just be like Claire calm down you are not fairy you do not need this many fairy lights okay Calm down on the fairy lights. You are not Faye. <gasps> Speaking of Faye, a lot of you guys have been asking, uh, because I did the guys from A Court of Thorns and Roses, if I've read um, Throne of Glass. I'm on book three. <gasps> Rowan. Rowan has just started to get really interesting, and I've definitely just fallen in love with him, because that's what I do for, book for characters in books. That's just what I do. I'm leaving the rest of the lights up, because I think they look nice. Okay. <gasps> look at Ryder Rua's room. It's so cool with his little rabbit. And you guys made the really good point that Jessie was obsessed with Ryder's when she was younger, and then she got her son one. Can we just talk? Can we just talk for five minutes about how cute that is? I think you'll find... Very cute. I think you'll find it's very cute. So, Joxy is kind of taking the heavy lifting with looking after Ryder at the moment. Playing with him while he plays these little toys. Because Jessie is just not in a good place. She's just kind of sat there, like, with them. I don't think she really wants to be on her own right now. But she is definitely taking the loss of her parents very hard. She was very close to both of them. And we, of course, need to go into cast and just switch out that little cheeky hair. So I'm going to do that quickly now. And I also kind of think, I think grief affects people differently. There's no rule of how to handle grief. There's no one way or right way to handle it. And I think in Jessie's case, the way that we're going to play it is, I kind of feel like maybe she's looking in the mirror and she's seeing like her crazy pink hair and like the things that made her so happy before, but she, she is not in that place right now. She is in like a pretty sad place. She wants to dye her hair dark for her mum, but maybe she's kind of like, I can't deal with having happy pink hair at the moment when that's not where my head is. So she is kind of reverting back to their previous look, both out of respect for her mum, but just because as well, she she's kind of lost a little piece of herself, I would say. So this is the hair that we're reverting her to. She's got like four outfits as Jessie. I don't know why she's got so many. But I'm gonna change out all of them because I just don't think that's where her head is. I just don't think that's where her head is. So she's gone, I think it's nice to as well see her in a natural hair color. <gasps> Look at those little weird strands being all like illuminated. That's really weird. I actually think it's from this around her waist that's doing it. Watch, this is really odd. But if I change it from that one to this one, they go. I don't know why it's like that, but it is. <laughs> so there we go, guys. Je oh, her hair color switches out again. Let's change it back. She can still have like interesting hair for when she wants to go in a party mode. But it will obviously, it's just going to be brown. And it's not really that color, is it? It's more like that color. So it's a little bit of a different Jess. It's probably going to be um, a little bit strange for Roxy because obviously Jessie and Roxy kind of had this thing together where they dyed their hair crazy colors but Roxy switched back to black so I see no reason why Jessie can't or maybe Jess Roxy kind of uh you know Jessie's gone back to being um going back to her natural hair color maybe it's my turn to kind of represent the crazy hair colors of the family she kind of looks like a mermaid with that hair <laughs> so I'm gonna have Roxy's hair for a little while as this kind of bluish color just to mix it up a little bit you guys I might also change out this first outfit a little. I feel like Roxy's kind of extravagant. Like, she'd wear something like this. I'm gonna get some high, slightly higher jeans for it, though. Maybe that Gucci skirt kind of goes with that. There we go. So she... Oh, no, it's it's clipping through. It looks really cool, but it is clipping through. Okay, guys, I changed my mind and went for pink hair for Roxy. Just because, like, I love this hair on her so much. I think she looks so amazing with that hair. And I gave her that outfit just to mix things up a little bit, you guys. I'm also gonna get rid of uh, Jessie's pregnancy outfit because she doesn't need it anymore. And then on her first outfit, I got some like cute new little tops that I kind of wanted to try on. Like that one's really pretty. That one's gorgeous. I love that top. And then there's this one here as well, which I thought was quite Jessie-fied. But maybe I might go for this one and switch out her jeans a little bit. This one comes in all kinds of crazy colors as well. Like, I really like that one. I think this is quite Jessie Bob's. I think that looks cute. So it's a slightly different look for Jessie. A look we've not seen Jessie with for a really long time. Oh, all that casting has made me, um, need my peach juice. Need to finish off my peach juice. She kind of looks like a lumberjack. And I'm also noticing that she wants to craft an object on the woodworking table. So I think we get her some way of working off her uh, woodworking. I'm just gonna search for woodworking. 
working off her grief with potentially a little woodworking table that we can add to her sciency room. What do you guys think? I think it sounds like a good idea. I think it's gonna help her work off some of her sadness. And the last thing we want her doing is working off her sadness with Jay. Grief makes people do silly things, and especially if Roxy's not really understanding her grief at the moment, it could definitely spell bad times, which I don't want to happen. So I'm gonna get her to go and give that a go. She's still very sad, you guys. And I just don't think these two get it. Like, look at Roxy. I don't think I've ever seen her walk so happily. She's just really not understanding her partner's grief right now. And also, these two are looking more like each other than ever <laughs> with their little matching hair. They were literally both about to go and empty the bin at the same time then. Okay, you guys need to head to bed though because it's half past two on a school night. You need to go and give him a little tuck into bed as well. Meanwhile, Jessie's kind of... She's definitely, I would say, taking out frustration. It looks like the kind of work where you can just hack at it. And it's given her something to distract herself with, which I also think is quite nice. I don't know what it's supposed to be right now, other than a block of wood that she can kind of hack it with a knife a little bit. While this is all happening, poor little Roxy is having to take over main parent in duties, but she's very close with little Ryder Root, who this episode, I want to get to get into that creative mindset that you guys think he should be. We'll get him to make some pictures, do some drawings, and basically unleash his creativity as much as we can. <gasps> the time spent woodworking is paid off. Check out your Sims inventory. <gasps> guys, she's off to go cry out in bed. Let's see what she has created then. Okay, let's put her sad sculpture somewhere. We could put it on this table. She feels good about being able to cry it off. <laughs> and actually, look at that. For her first sculpture, it's really not that bad. It's pretty good. She had a little cry in bed and like Roxy didn't even stir. <laughs> I don't think uh, Frankie is understanding the whole sadness very much. It's different when you're a cat, isn't it? You don't really understand what it's like to lose a loved one. I thought he was off to go to bed with Roxy, but I don't even think he's doing that. Where are you going, little friendo? I'm following you. I'm seeing what you're up to. I can be cat level two, you know. Where are you going? You're just coming here to meow. Okay. You're right, I don't understand cats at all. You're weird. You're very weird. Okay, he's gone to go check on Ryder. <laughs> Thanks, Frankie. Oh gosh, Jessie has done another sad sculpture, so now we have two sad sculptures. Maybe... Oh wow. I, I thought it was going to be a different one, but nope. More of the same. A melancholy piece of wood. At least she's got a little craft table, guys. One way of working off her sadness. Meanwhile, this one is practicing his little creativity. He's already in an inspired mood, and I asked him to draw people. And to me, it kind of looks like he's drawing two people. Maybe a man and a woman. Maybe grandma and granddad. I think I think he's drawing Ali and Claire, you guys. Look, it's got my brown hair and smiley face. And Ali, we can't really see him at that much of him yet. Can you finish it off, please, Ryder? You've got school soon. His pet is looks so much like he's got little crayons as well, doesn't it? I want to see if it does end up looking like me and Ali. And now he's putting some glitter on there. Oh, it is! Guys, he drew me and Ali! Oh! I don't know if it's really sad or really cute. I kind of think it's both. And he's looking at his little Pokemon as he's drawing. You do have school in 10 minutes, though, so... Finish it off. Your mummies will put it on the wall for you so you can look at it when you get home. That's one way of taking out his grief in a constructive, inspirational way, I think. Jessie is up and she's sad again. Oh, Jessie. Guys, I've never known anyone deal with their sadness quite quite so sadly. Jessie came in to keep him company as he was finishing. And you can tell she's sad because look at her nutrition right now. Her nutrition is a piece of cake. I can't even... That was from the last time Ryder aged up, which is ages ago. So we could basically call that moldy cake. She's eating moldy cake and she is moping hard. Can I pop this on the wall? <gasps> We're gonna fill his room with drawings, you guys. Meanwhile, Roxy is up in the other room. Watching... Is she watching TV? I don't know what she just turned on. I think the music. She's put music on. And she is in a happy mood. And I kind of thought she'd be like comforting Jessie and making her feel better. <gasps> yep, Jessie ate eating moldy cake, confirmed you guys. I literally feel like Frankie is giving her more than Roxy right now. Although Roxy's coming to come and do something. She's coming to come and chat with her. No, 
Jessie is off to go and chat with Roxy. Roxy, come on. I know some partners struggle with like something that traumatic happening to one of their partners, but still, I wouldn't have thought it'd be Roxy that would do that. Oh, she went to go and chat with Roxy and then Roxy walked away because she needed a wee. Roxy. Oh, she wants to go give herself a little pep talk in the mirror. You've got work in 20 minutes, Jesse Bob. So we want to finish work on the uh, the rocket ship. So I don't think you're going to get time. Not unless there's a mirror out in the hallway somewhere. What is this room? What's behind here? Oh my gosh. We've got a room there that we've never done. Give me a second, you guys. There's a bathroom here that's just unfinished. I'm so sorry. I totally didn't realize that was there. There we go, you guys. A little bathroom there that actually now, I don't know if she'll quite fit it in, but she could go and give herself a little pep talk in the mirror. She's got six minutes. At least we've fulfilled that little whim for her. And it's reduced the amount of time that she's in mourning for, which is good. Although she still wants to blog about her feelings. Okay, we're gonna join little Jessikins in work because obviously we've been working on that rocket ship and I wanna spend a little bit more time on it today. We've just gotta hope that Jay isn't at work and also that Jay doesn't try and make a little bit more effort than Roxy at making little Jessikins feel better. Okay, so today is a daily experimentation day. We lost a lot of our work performance last time by only doing the rocket ship, so we should probably do a few other things. <laughs> Today. Yeah. Upgrade Sim Ray with mind control. Do we probably upgrade that using this little thing here? Oh, she doesn't have enough handiness. Okay, we can share ideas with Avani though. Okay, so she's off to go share some brilliant ideas. She's currently just sat on the PC crying to herself. Guys, it's like poor Jessikins is making me feel so sad. And also, guys, look over there. Jay is in the work today. Okay, so with that out of the way, I think it's time to work on our little rocket ship, you guys. I also ordered some of the co-workers to do like a little bit of gardening, a little bit of inventing, so at least something is happening while we're at work. So this is one way for little Jessikins to take her mind off things. She's working on her little rocket. And to his credit, Jay has come out to come and help her. There's no chit- there's not- well, there's a little bit of chit-chatting going on, but... I think if anything, it's just a good way for her to get her mind off things. And he is helping her at least get into space, which seems to be what her mission in life is at the moment. She is still super sad though. She wants to call the sadness hotline, you guys. Well, I think the sadness, sadness hotline is James. So I'm very happy for her to give James a little chat because James obviously is a kind of, it's a little bit older than Jesse. He's a brother that's always been really close to her. And I think he's probably the right person to speak to. When you're kind of struggling a little bit, like she is now. <gasps> She's rocket science level three now, you guys. She can now expand the fuel storage tank for rockets. I'm really scared that we spend all this time getting her into space. And then as soon as she gets there, or before she even gets into space, she dies on the way up. I'm kind of scared of that happening, you guys. <gasps> oh my gosh. Listen to that. It's done. <gasps> the rocket ship is complete. Oh my gosh. Okay, I think we should definitely install all the upgrades before we go anywhere near it. Because I don't want to accidentally end up, you know, dying out there. But look at that. The rocket is complete. And it is pretty huge, you guys. It is definitely a pretty huge rocket. I've never been to space before, so... I'm kind of intrigued as to what it could be. Okay, we've done nothing else that she's supposed to be doing at work right now. And Jay is one of the few workers that actually had the option to ask for a crystal. So she's going to go ask him for a crystal so she can at least synthesize this uh, mix ox strength serum thing. So she's off to go ask him for his little crystal. He's giving her a little bit of a, a sad hug. And hopefully he's going to give her a crystal as well. Can you give us one please, Jay? Thank you. He is in a flirty mood, but also he's in a smelly mood. I don't have time to chat with you guys, okay? <gasps> She's thinking about Ali, you guys. Okay, we need to go back over here and at least synthesize this so that we've done something while we've been at work. <gasps> Wait, she needs any common crystal. She still doesn't have one? I thought Jay gave her one. <gasps> I'm gonna have to try it with some more co-workers, you guys. It also gets them away from Jay, who is currently very flirty. And therefore, it's sort of dangerous for Jessie to be around right now. Look at this. She has no, like, her romance for Jay has just gone completely back to zero. What are you doing? I told you to go get this, the, the crystal. Listen to me. What the hell is she doing now? Stop gossiping with Jay. 
Everybody's going home. You're meant to be getting me my crystal. Ah, guys, everybody is leaving, which means I can't get this crystal, which Jay is supposed to have given her. Has he got any more crystals? Okay, all the other co-workers have gone home. So this has not been a very successful day at work. I'm so scared that she's gonna end up getting demoted. We're just gonna have to continue our upgrade, you guys. Okay, she did a terrible job again at work today, but we're one step closer to getting into space. The rocket is complete. We just need to make it safe. And I'm really scared of using it until it's safe. I can't lose Jesse after just losing Claire and Ali. It's too much. So Jesse is back home and look who came to greet her at the door. Why don't you spend a little bit of time? <gasps> she can confide her problems in her car. How cute is that? Give little kitty cat some attention. Ryder, why don't you sit here and start working on some more drawings, okay? And then this one. Oh, I think she's talking to you. She was talking to Kira, potentially on the phone, but you still need to get this up to level 10. Keep practicing that piano, okay? Roxy, uh, sorry, Jessie seems like she's got out of her depression. Oh, she's come, she's come, oh gosh, Roxy has a pen pal from Bridgeport. I feel like Jessie has worked her way through depression. She definitely seems like she's in a much happier place right now. And I think we should definitely get this one to have a little chat with James. She's giving him her little call. If anyone can give her good advice, it's gonna be James. So he did another drawing and this time it was football, which makes me think it's even much more of like a non-coincidence that he drew Claire and Ali for his first one, you guys. Did it know that he lost them recently? I don't know. But now that he's just back to drawing like normal kid things makes me think that that was a special drawing. I think we could see Roxy about to master the piano skill as well. I swear she's on <gasps> level nine. So if she gets this up, she will have maxed out her piano skill. She does always like, she's always to me just seemed like she's playing absolute nonsense on the piano though. It just sounds like nothing. It just sounds like she's just going up and down the keys or like chopsticks. She's doing La Bamba. The neighbors. Oh, she did it! Ivory Tower! Sim reached the max in the piano skill. She can now play avant garde songs and she can also mentor other Sims on the piano. I kind of feel like she should definitely teach little Ryder how to play. And then I was kind of thinking the way these two guys, the very first time they ever did anything flirtatious with each other, was actually when they were playing chess. I think it was Jesse blew a kiss at Roxy. Or oh, all the other way around, but I think it was Jesse. And that's kind of where everything began. So I thought this could be quite a nice way for them to kind of rekindle their love to each other a little bit. I, I literally have given them non-flirty things to talk about. Like they're joking about fashion, they're brightening each other's day. It doesn't matter, they've gone back to being flirty and somehow she's dragged little Jessicans out of her depression mood and into a happy mood. Oh, this is nice, you guys. Oh, look! <gasps> they recreated their childhood beautiful moment together by blowing a kiss. Hashtag save Joxy could be onto a good start. Out, you guys <laughs> what they do now <gasps> oh roxy you little cutie pie it says that they were just meant to chat then but instead they decided to go in for the kiss oh my gosh and they're sitting down for another game they sure like playing play chess with each other i don't know how she's been ignoring the fact that she's desperately needing the toilet and desperately hungry for so long she's thinking about babies jesse is thinking about babies you guys also you guys asked me to put them on the gallery so while i remember I'm gonna go ahead into the gallery and first of all I'm gonna upload the Harry Potter trio because you guys wanted that But then I'm also gonna upload these guys to the gallery too. Kapow! There you go. Gosh, these guys are at it again It's 5 a.m. in the morning. They finished their little chess and they're back to being all cute and romantic with each other You guys Jesse was doing a little bit of dance into country music Which I've got to say I've never seen them do before but I'm not gonna stop them if that's what they want to do. Oh, you guys. I feel like they're getting their romance back. Okay, you guys, I think one good final step to get your little bit of romance back is, why don't you both take a vacation day? And you as well, little rider room. And then I was kind of thinking they could go away just for one night. Just for one night, do a little bit of camping. It's everybody called in, Jess has called in, Roxy has called in, and Ryder has called in. Okay. Little uh, Roxy can organize. Ooh, we still need to pay the bills. Okay, Roxy, you can pay the bills. Jessicans, do you want to change out your scientist outfit? Because you have kind of been in it all night. And I want to see a pretty new outfit, okay? And then I want you... Oh, you can take a vacation with Frankie. Oh, that's so cool. So it would be Ryder, Roxy, and Frankie. But where is Roxy? Oh, why can't you bring Roxy? There we go. Roxy, Ryder, and Frankie. I don't know what Frankie's going to think of camping. 
I really don't know how he's gonna quite take that, but we'll see. And then I want to do the campaign literally just in a tent. I'm not sure how you do it though. Okay, campground. <gasps> this is how we're gonna do it, guys. We're gonna do a night doing a little camp. Although, what is this one? Oh, they can't go on vacation there. Okay. It is literally just for... Would I have to do it for two nights? Two days, one night. I think that's the best way to do it. This could be interesting, you guys. Oh my gosh, here they go. In the campgrounds. They have nothing. Oh, she's sad again. She's homesick. Oh my gosh, you can't be homesick already. Oh, Jessie, she's oh. such a little home bird. Why are they all so homesick? Ryder's not. Ryder's like, this is great. I'm going to do a little bit of daydreaming. I'm going to watch the clouds go by. This is lovely. But he's quite a creative little sim, isn't he? So I can see that. Oh my gosh. What are these guys oh, arguing boy. about? Oh no, they're oh, chit chatting. They're okay. Yeah. We're all good. And little Frankie seems happy too. The thing is, how do we pitch a tent? Like, how do I even pitch a tent, you guys? I don't know how to do it. Do I have to, like, speak to a warden or anything? Do I have to buy a tent? Do it. Should I have bought the tent before I came? Oh my gosh, I don't know. I do not know. Okay, Genji, our camp manager, has come to ask. Let's go do a friendly introduction to this guy and see if he can help us out with this whole camping situation. Jess has got a fire going, at least. Ask for camping info. Okay, here we go. Look at Roxy's got like mosquitoes flying around her. Ooh, this could have been a bad idea. She's not really dressed for camping either, is she? You may want to bring a cooler with you when you're hiking out in the woods. No tell how long you you might get hungry. What about where are we going to sleep? Okay, he's told us about the public restroom. And that's kind of it. I feel like maybe I should have bought a tent before we came. <laughs> I'm going to have to Google it. It's really pretty out here, though, and a really nice place to clear your head from something as traumatic as your parents' death. Let's see what the internet has to say. <gasps> okay, so it's a kiosk. It's a kiosk. Someone aligned to help to me, you guys. So we need to go over to this little kiosk here, and I think that's where we buy a tent. <gasps> yes, okay. Buy supplies. I've already played some horseshoes, so they're having a good time. I don't know who she's meant to be talking to, because I can't see anybody behind that. Okay. We want to get some nice stuff, so let's get a really nice tent. Oh my gosh, the tents are so expensive. <gasps> wow, okay, we'll get a tent. We will get a cooler. Uh, we will get a little light. And we've already got a little campfire where we are, so I don't think we need a campfire. We need a pet sleeping station. I'm going to get a double just in case I need one. I don't know if I do or not. <gasps> we get a little guitar for Roxy to play for us. I'm gonna get some of the food bits. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be doing with them. I kind of feel like they have to catch their own meal tonight. And then we'll get a little food bowl for the little little Mr. Tinkles. He doesn't need a litter box here. We're out in the wild, you guys. Okay, we just spent 2,000 pounds. These guys have done well from us. They have definitely done well. Okay, so shall I pitch the tent up now? She's getting hungry, you guys. I'll pop the cooler out. Then, have I got the tent in here? Oh my gosh, we've got the tent as well. <gasps> She's gonna pitch the tent herself. Well done, Roxaru. Okay, we should probably move our cooler a little bit closer to our tent. Okay, so we've got the cooler. We've got the little light. What can we get in the cooler? We can have a quick meal from here. Okay, why don't you guys all come and grab a little bit of granola? And then we can head out and do some explores. Stop. Who are you chatting with? Have you found a doggy? Oh, no, it's a, it's a creepy, creepy bear. Don't chat with the adult bear rider. Please come home and get your granola, okay? Oh, you can't get anything when she's sat on there. Don't sit on top of it. Sit over here, okay? Okay, so they're having a nice little bit of breakfast just to get them started on their day. And I think this is like the perfect way for this one to get over everything that's happened. Look how much happier she looks already, you guys. She looks proper like ready for camping. Roxy looks like she's ready to go out party. <laughs> oh, look, Ryder the Cat is with them as well. Not Ryder the Cat. Frankie the cat is with them as well. These guys are blowing each other little kisses and stuff. And little um, little riders over there grabbing his cereal as well. I think I send them off like doing a little bit of an explore. Maybe they can catch some fish to cook tonight or something. Oh, look at this. The whole little family is together. How cute is that? All of them going camping together. I actually love that so much. What a good way to clear little... Oh, oh my God, flies. Horrible flies. A good way to clear little Jessikins' mind. Okay, let's find somewhere to go and do a little bit of fishing. I can hear water, but I can't see water. Oh, oh, here we go. Here's a good place to go fish. Why don't you guys all come fishing together after that? This is where we all stayed before, isn't it? 
I think it was that one, or maybe it was this one. No, it was this one. That's the one everybody went and stayed with in our, in our big holiday trip. This time we're going like back to basics. Oh, actually go here, go here. I like this because it's like a little running, running water is always good for fishing, you guys. Is that Rico? Oh my gosh. As if Rico is here. The old babysitter is here as well. So there we go, guys. All the little cutie pies. Do a little bit of fishing together. Something a little bit different. I'm not sure four people are fishing in such a tiny space is quite ad adhering to the laws of, you know, the laws of fishing. But who am I to question it? Oh, well done. Oh my gosh, Roxy caught, uh, Jesse caught a bite. Well done. She is the only one to catch something so far. Rico caught loads of seaweed, which I'm not really sure if you're meant to too. Oh, look, Roxy caught a fish as well. Okay, Rowdy. Oh, Rowdy caught a fish too. I was about to say, you're going to be hungry tonight, but instead he goes ahead and shows me up. <gasps> Look at the beautiful mountains in the background, you guys. It's so pretty here. So relaxing and pretty. Like, whenever I see pictures of America that show places like this, it actually makes me, like, super jealous that you guys have all that on your doorstep. I mean, I know you've also got bears, which isn't so great and is kind of scary. We don't have bears in the UK. We have foxes and we have badgers. And that's kind of it. That's as scary as you get. But I love that you guys can hike and go here. I'd love to go hiking with Evie. Although Evie's always, always off the lead. And I don't know if she would get eaten by a bear if we tried that. I don't know. Look at these little beams of light shining through here, being all pretty. Oh look, this is boosting up uh, Ryder's mental skills as well, which is really cool. Oh my gosh, Roxy caught a basil. Oh Roxy, you little cutie pie catching basils. Okay. What can we do next? Can we go do some exploring somewhere? Can we go and explore the woods as like a group? I don't want to leave anyone behind. I want it to be something that we all go and do together. Oh, I'm just like walking around exploring because it's so pretty. Like, look at that. Look how creative little Ryder is as well. He's like got so many like creative emotes going on from just fishing. He's like inspired by the clouds. He's feeling great and he's pretty tasty from his nice little camping food. Okay, so I'm gonna take them up to the forest, the national park, just for a few hours so that we can explore a little bit before they head home and cook their little fit, head home to their campsite and cook their little fishes. Okay, so they're at the Granite Falls forest. What kind of stuffs can they get up to here? They could actually cook their dindins here if they wanted. But I'm kind of looking for, for some activities, you know? We did manage to find the passageway here before, but only one person can go through at once. So I'm not sure if that's the best idea. Little Ryderoo is off to go do a little bit of rock, collect, rock digging and also uh, go hiking around the little national park. I figured it would be nice for these two to get the chance to catch up with each other a little bit. These guys are just having a beautiful chat in the very beautiful location, you guys. And just getting back to basics, getting back to what made Joxy so great, showing some pictures of, that they've taken together in the forest, having a good old laugh, having a little bit of a flirt with each other maybe as well. And just doing everything we can to make little Jessicans feel good. I'm sure Selma is doing the exact same thing for James and probably Max for Emma, Taylor for Emily. They've all got somebody to look after them, you guys, which is nice. Oh, where's she off? She's running somewhere, you guys. <gasps> Rox has realized there's a guitar she wants to go play a few notes on. And J Jesse apparently wants to go wash the dishes. Frankie is not having the most fun time for himself. Can we give Frankie a fish? There's no option to give him a fish, but I think that would be like a really cool thing to do. So little Roxaru has gone and found her guitar. <gasps> She's playing romantic things for... Who is she playing them for? Where is Jessica's? There, she's listening, but through the window oh, and getting very flirty from it all. Why don't you come sit in here so you can listen properly, okay? Okay, there we go. Now they're next to each other. And little musical genius uh, Roxy is playing a serenade for Jessie, which is very cute. I like that her guitar's got a little heart on it as well. It's definitely doing the trick because uh, Jessie seems very taken away with the emotion of it all. Meanwhile, this one's trying to do a serenade of his own outside. I heard you, Frankie, being really loud. Look at him, he's just like, I'm not fond of camping. I don't get it. I don't know why you've brought me here and I'm glitching. That's how much I hate it. I hate it, I hate it, I hate, it. I hate it. Look, you can pee out in the wild here though, Frankie. No one cares if you pee on the floor, it's great. Look at that, wild wees. <gasps> she went in cloud gaze and just lied in all the wee. What were you even thinking? Roxy, that was the most ridiculous thing I think I've ever seen you do. Don't do it again. Don't you be doing it again. Cloud gazing in Frankie's wee. Oh. 
<gasps> guys, they've been so cute together. And then the flies go and ruin everything. Okay, guys, it's 7 p.m. It's getting pretty late. I think Frankie's just gonna head over. He's been, um, Frankie, I can't keep getting the cat and the kid mixed up. Ryder has been doing a little bit of hiking. He's a good explorer of the woods. He's coming back to go and give little Frankie Bear some treats. Because Frankie is a pampered cat who is not used to the outdoors at all. He's not like Mojo. He doesn't go off exploring and doing things on his own. He is very much an indoor kind of cat who doesn't quite understand all of this and needs to be given treats. He won't go go looking for his own food. But little Ryder knows this and Ryder's giving him some nice treats, you guys. Frankie's just not impressed by any of this at all. But I think we go ahead and travel back to the little campsite and set up for the night having some nice little dinner limbs. So I'm gonna give Frankie some little pet treats and then can we fill up this little bowl for him as well? And then I wanna see if these guys can like, uh, can they cook the fish that they, oh wait, we'll be able to grill potentially the fish that we cooked. How can we do that? Is it in our inventory? You must be able to do it. Oh no, I can only mount it. Why can't I cook it? Never mind. We'll do some grills of fried fish. <gasps> we can do it. We can do it, you guys. <gasps> they can roast the fish as well. Can you roast the fish too? <gasps> you can roast your little fish. So they're all cooking with the fish that they made earlier. How cool is that? Look at that. That's the little fish that Jessie caught and now she's cooking it. And Roxy's doing hers in a little bit more of a civilized way over there. And the little, uh, little rider's roasting his too. Yeah. Oh, the fire's gone out, quick, you need to uh, you need to light the fire a little bit more. Add some logs to it, quick, quick, quick. Oh guys, this is super cute. Roxy's adding a few more logs to the fire to make sure it keeps going. And then these guys are all just kind of roasting. I think uh, Roxy's actually roasting some marshmallows. Ryder's cooking his other little uh, fishing from earlier on. And it's just a super cute little scene of them all doing nice little camping together. Ryder and his mums doing some nice camping. Roxy, I think you're missing a marshmallow. Oh, she's figured it out somehow. And even little Ryder's come along to join them in front of the fire. Oh. <laughs> Stop it, Claire! Little Frankie has come over. Frankie, who is in season, can I just add, has come over to join the family. Who is in our tent? Please, can you not be in our tent, strange woman? You are not invited on this camping trip, okay? You are not part of this adorable little family. Little Frankie's going to sleep next to her, Claire, which is super... Next to Claire? Next to Jessie, which is super cute. And everyone's just, like, kind of loving their little camping trip together. Ooh, she's got her fish on a plate now. Do you not want to eat that, Jessie? Oh my god, a fire has started nearby? What is on fire? Jessica discovered the fire. Who was on fire? Is my child on fire? How can I extinguish this fire? Please, ladies, let's work together to extinguish. Oh, she can extinguish with the freeze ray. Okay, I have to see this. Does that extinguish things faster? Oh, wow. She actually has, like, her own special way of extinguishing fire. Okay. That could have gone better. That could have gone better. Guys, don't don't hate the fire too much yet. Oh my gosh, a ghost has come? Because <gasps> I'm telling a ghost story. Okay, she's invited these guys over to come and tell them a ghost story. How freaky will it be if she tells a ghost story and Claire and Ali come? But there's already one ghost here and it's not them. I'm hoping it stays that way, you guys. I don't think they want to be haunted by Ali and Claire. That would be really creepy. Who is the ghost that's here? They're haunting this bin. They're literally haunting a bin right now. Jesse's ghost story is too good, you guys. It's bringing out the ghosts. I'm like looking around to make sure there's no more. Okay, it's Roxy's turn to tell a story now. But she's not telling a ghost story. We're not doing any more of those. She's telling everybody a nice little adventure story. And Ryder is pretty hungry. Ryder, uh, no, Ryder, oh my gosh. Guys, why am I getting the cat and the kid confused so much? I'm literally stressing myself out right now. Frankie, why didn't you just eat the fish on the floor? There's fish everywhere. You're a cat. You're meant to love that stuff. Stop being all in season-y. You guys are right. One of you guys suggested that I should introduce them to Mojo. I don't know if they're opposite genders, but if they are, we should definitely get some kittens. Okay, it's getting late. We've had some beautiful stories, very beautiful stories. I think these two go and do a little woo-woo in the wild. And then Roxy actually has a double bed that we can pop. Oh, I don't want to pop it there. That's kind of in everybody's way. Let's not do that. Can I pop it under the tree here? 
A little rider can sleep here and maybe kind of sleeping underneath the stars, which I think is quite cute. And I think he'd quite like that because he's into his like cloud gazing and stuff. So look, he can look up at the moon and the stars. He'll have a beautiful night's sleep looking up at that. He's that kind of a sim. While his mums get back to basics in the tent there. This is the second time they've done tent woo-woos. If you remember, they went to a park with a tent. And they definitely did some tent woo-woos. So these guys, I think we can safely say, Joxy is back on you guys. Joxy is safe and happy. In fact, I would argue that they are more than happy right now, you guys. I would definitely argue that they're more than happy. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Little cutie pies. Oh my god, these flies will not leave them alone. Not the time for the guitar in though. Not when that one's doing a little sleep. I think it's time for you guys to head back to bed. I think Riders, I knew he'd like sleeping under the stars, you guys. He looks very happy about the whole situation. He's having a little giggle for himself in his sleep with his little cute sleeping next to the lavender. I think Jesse's just having a little bit more food, hanging out with Frankie. Probably having a little bit of alone time, actually. Just to kind of reflect on everything. I would say she's definitely, definitely back to being very, a very happy Jessicans again. I think she's very much on the mend. And all it took was building a rocket ship and going on a camping experience. Uh -huh. I mean, it's not, it's no small order, you guys, but I think, I think she's definitely back to being happy again. And Frankie, I think, is still a very much a city cat, you guys. He's not ready for the great outdoors just yet. Look how much happiness she's got. She's got that sweet serenade, woo-wooed in the wild, completely satisfied, incredible storyteller, a good victory from hearing about another person's incredible story. She's feeling good, and she's confident because she extinguished a fire. It doesn't get much happier than that, you guys. And now she too is retiring into the tent to go for a little wild sleep. Oh, and even Frankie has finally gone to his proper bed as well. Okay, Fra <laughs> Ryder's woken up desperate for the toilet. I think you're about to meet the public bathroom, Ryder. Where is it at? Is this the public bathroom? Nope, that's the house. It's even, but worse than that. Where is it? Where is it? I think it's this little one here. Okay, go get bathed and showered. Your hygiene's really good. I don't know how you've managed that, but fair play to you. These guys are gonna have to do the same. And then I think it's time to grab a little bit of cereal and head home. Oh gosh, they're all in. I don't know if you guys have ever been camping. I've been camping. Look at all the bugs everywhere as well. Like the, the restrooms you have to use when you're camping, they're not the one. They are literally so much not the one. <gasps> Jessie wants to do another woo-woo in the tent before she goes home, you guys. So final little bit of breakfast before we head home. Ryder's first holiday. I think he's definitely enjoyed it. These girly whirlies have had a brilliant time together and are very much back. Oh, the flies are after them again. Are very much back on track, which I'm very, oh my gosh. They couldn't have timed that any better if they tried, could they? Very much happy again. Uh, Ryder, why don't you go and entertain yourself? Oh, you're doing a little bit of cloud gazing. Look at this. What's he just leveled up there? He's reached creativity level six. He's literally smashing through that creativity. Why don't you go ahead, go on a final little hike for yourself. I know how much you like your hiking. Cause these girly whirlies want to do one final woohoo in the tent together. And I'm not about to stop them. If that's what they want to do to finish their holidays, Jessie's running over there. She has done a complete 180. This little one is hiking on his own in his Marvel pajamas. If that's what you want to do, Ryder, I'm not about to stop you. It's an interesting choice though. It is definitely an interesting choice. You are the Avenger in your little pajamas. <laughs> I don't even know, you guys. I don't even know. And these little ladies couldn't be any happier. I'm sure somewhere Claire and Ali are watching down at them with a smile on their face. Being super happy that these two little girly whirlies are back on track with each other. Jessie's loving the whole tent. She's off to go relax in there. Okay, I think as lovely as that is, as lovely as that has been, it's time for everybody to get their butts back home. Good vacation. Beautiful rekindling of a relationship and of a family. A great time for Ryder to up his little creativity skill. And a good way to give little Frankie the shock of his life. A cat that has never left an apartment. Thrust into the wild to try and look after himself. But now they're all back home again. Back to the routine. Back to real life. 
But I hope you guys have all had the most wonderful time together. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of In The City as well. If you have, let me know in the comments below. If you have any ideas for this series, let me know as well. I think next episode, we're either going to age uh, Ryder up or send Jesse into space. Let me know which one you'd rather see more. And I'll see you guys in another episode of Sims 4 In The City. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye.